fastest, funnest, bitsiest way to get fruit from tree to kitchen. Meatballs! <laughs> Meatballs? That's an apple. Oh, right. Go, go, go! Because it's almost time for the grand opening. Right. One day, in the Tubely jungle, there was a little cafe. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Wait till they try my taste-terrific marmalade burger. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Triple yum! The Bevelator welcomes you to the super fantastic Extra Marmalady Jungle Cafe. Grab a seat. Every table has a spectacular. And Pop, you're the waiters. Hmm? Which means it's your job to. Wait! <laughs> Give the customers the menus and write down what. <laughs> 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 Um, that's a good one. Yes, it's lovely. But we don't know what the customers want. <laughs> wow, that's Madame Gourmet coming for breakfast right here in our cafe. Cool. Who's Madame Gourmet? They love me out there. That's great because an extra special customer just came in. Madame Gourmet. Aha, one extra special seat in the house. <laughs> Boom! Park yourself down, ma'am. Oh, thank you. The pleasure is all yours. <laughs> Yum! That does look delicious. <laughs> How did it taste? You don't know. <laughs> the bevelator here reporting that the gust. Yep. Supposed to deliver the food, not eat it yourself. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> I'm okay. Ready, set, serve! <laughs> not that quickly. <laughs> oh, my shiny sequins! It's okay. The bevelator's got it covered. <laughs> I thought the bits mix marmalade toast did look delicious. Um, we have to feed a lot of hungry customers fast. We need to get breakfast from the kitchen to the customers quickly and keep it steady. The pipes from the fruit chute carry Zip and Pop along quick. Right, we're going to build a conveyor. Oh yeah! Let's get down to bitsness! <laughs> Split aims to please. I'd love to put the recipe in my new cookbook. I was hoping you would. Oh, and I was hoping you would try my marmalade bug. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they got carried away. Here you go. One for you. Oh, it's even better. Hmm? What? If it was delivered by roller skating dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the big pin, Bob? It's the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And as soon as I do this, it doesn't look like Granny's house anymore. Cool. Scary. <laughs> One day in Craft City, the Fairy Tale Theatre Company are getting ready to perform their amazing play. I just need to practice where everyone needs to be on this beautiful stage. It's not long before the audience arrive, and I want this to be the best play. Cute! Mm. Positions, everyone! <laughs> 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 
Robo-Wolf. Uh, how about some big pointy teeth? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> OK. So it's time for the bit in Granny's house, OK? Uh. Huh? <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, we might need to work on that skipping. Now, where's our wolf? Front of Bev Riding Hood and... Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops! Not again! <laughs> Let's get these all picked up. Can we fix the trees to the stage to stop them falling over? Ah, great idea. Oh, wait. No, we can't. Stage? Huh? <laughs> Maybe you can practice the granny house bit while we clear up around you. Okay, granny's house. Oh dear, are you okay, Pearl? Yep, fine, sweetie. Turn on one side and granny's house on the other. All there. Good. Uh. Oh, Bob. Ah, the audience will be here soon, so we just need to uh, turn the stage round. Whoa! <clears throat> there you go. That's loosened it. Don't thank me, though. <sighs> oh. What do you... oh, that has spiky circles in it that we call cogs. The cog's teeth push against each other and turn round. The stage is shaped like a... <laughs> Ready to give it a try? Let's do it! Oh, the audience is here! Everyone ready? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> then let the awesome storytelling stage turning spin Little House! <laughs> <laughs> but then along came the Big Bad Robo Wolf! Big Bad Robo Wolf had to think quickly! Uh, wait! Oh. Granny's house is that way! Totally knew that. So, Big Bad Robo Wolf. <laughs> That's it, Zip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Granny. <laughs> now, Bev Riding Hood will think I'm Granny, and I can eat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but what big teeth you have, Granny. Oh, the better to eat ah, you with. It's the Robo Wolf. Ah. I did not see. Yay! I'm scary. Yoo-hoo! And Little Bear Riding Hood was safe. The end. <laughs> rubs against the wheel to help it stop. Awesome! The city, everyone gathered in the town square to celebrate Princess Pearl Day. Woohoo! Yeah! Welcome to Craft City, Princess Pearl. Oh! And meet your royal helpers! <laughs> <laughs> My shiny sequins! <laughs> What's her? <laughs> Police Chief Bevel's here to make sure nothing gets in the way of the parade. Right, Bevel? Nothing will stop the parade. <laughs> oh, uh, now after you. That's right, left! <laughs> Flavors. Chocolate chip, chocolate mint, Italian chocolate, chocolate fudge, chocolate chocolate. 
Oh, oh, hello. Oh, am I driving too fast? Sorry about that. I'll slow down. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the bevelator's fine. Nothing to see here. And wave. Oh, it's okay. I can still wave. Oh, good. Uh, right. Is broken. They can't slow down. Bob and her pearliness are in danger. Ah, right. Uh, I knew that. Police chief Bevel to the rescue. <laughs> I've got to slow us down. Robo Bob to the rescue. I can do this. Thank you. Uh, oh no. Broken. And so are the brakes. And we're going too fast for me to wave at everyone. Don't worry. Huh? Oh. Cute umbrella, Bevel. But it's slowing us down. <gasps> the umbrella slowed us down. Maybe we could catch air to slow down the carriage, too. But I'm going to need a bigger umbrella to catch more air because the carriage is bigger than the boat. Oh, are we stopping for tea? We've got a carriage to catch. This. Oh, hello. Don't worry, I'm on it. Bit close the bevel. Oh, that's it. Thank you, your pearliness. Ah! Oh. Ah. <gasps> yes. <laughs> the exciting parade I've ever been in! You're the best bestie ever! <sighs> Phew! <laughs> <laughs> Model at my jungle fashion show. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I love it. It's got to go in the show. Cool. Can I take the photos for um? Smut, smut, smut. Sushi, sushi, sushi. And of the jungle. We just need to take these with us. Shh! Don't move. There's an animal just ahead. Um, I don't see anything. It's a stripy jungle cat. Which is why we're heading over here. Bevel of the jungle knows how to get anywhere and fears nothing. <laughs> Except big bats. <laughs> hmm. These vines give me an idea for a new design. <gasps> Whoa! Oh. oh, sorry. It feels like we're being followed. Hmm. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it, it's this way. <laughs> Booyah! Bevel of the jungle does it again. Yes! Aw, uh, the bevel kind of likes them. Huh? What? <gasps> Where do they go? Huh? What? Must be the stripy jungle camel. Watching <laughs> monkeys. Give us those hats back. Huh? <gasps> oh. Hey, come back! A super hat model needs super hats. <laughs> 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 it looks. 
looks like we'll need to sneak up on them. I'm not sure sneaking up's going to work. We're just too bright and easy to spot against all this jungly green. A hat can lure the monkeys down out of the trees, but they'll run away as soon as they see us. So we need some way of staying hidden. So we need to gather up leaves and branches to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. That's it! It will stand out against the background. <laughs> wow! Pearl, that's awesome! The cheeky monkeys won't be able to resist it! Looking for something? <laughs> 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 Our camouflage worked! We took the hats because they're so fantastic! <laughs> hey! If you like hats, maybe you could join in our Magazine, Bob. And the flag oh. surprise! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>